two chapters ago in chapter 24, we had one of Rogo's team members saying, hey, we've got to make sure that things are going well in the plant because we've got this problem, the constraints are moving. Then we spent chapter 25 talking about how we need to make sure to stop futile work. So we're at the point now, we're here in chapter 26, Rogo sees that his team has identified the constraint. They're really figuring out great ways to work on that constraint and improve throughput. And now in this chapter, what we're gonna do is figure out what is the right cadence on how do we release things into the plant. That's done by Goldrot in two ways. He has Rogo start at home. He's talking with his son, Davey, his daughter, Sharon, and he puts the challenge to them of how do you keep Herbie on track in a scout hike? And they talk about using ropes and they talk about using a drum and how do you keep cadence? And um, Rogo and Goldrot himself were big um, pushers of a method called drum and rope, um, which are a good way to keep cadence in the, in the plant and make sure that parts are moving along slowly. And you'll even see like massive companies like Boeing keep their big airplanes moving consistently on the way out of the plant from the time that they get started to keep everybody on track. So the two kids have a bunch of great ideas um, and Rogo kind of follows a classic Dale Carnegie trick of throwing down a challenge here. And then Rogo goes into the plant and, and throws down the same challenge, but knows that he has a couple of good ideas. Uh, he's got a great quote here to Nakamura, the data genius we covered a couple chapters ago. And Rogo says to him, I'm not about to stand by and let that happen just to maintain a standard that obviously has more impact on middle management politics than it does on the bottom line. I say we go ahead with this and efficiencies drop, let them. So what Rogo here is choosing is he's choosing real productivity over the kind of Eric Reese lean startup vanity metrics. He's saying that we, we can't worry about efficiency at each step of the plant because if we keep every step of the plant efficient, then we're creating a lot of whip, we're creating a lot of needless work. Instead, what we need to do is have the full, whole plant focused on the constraint and the cadence of that constraint. And if we do that, then we'll maximize plant output. The Goal is a great book. Everybody should read it. Every day that you work according to the theory of constraints, you'll make your life and the world around you a little bit better.